Hello guys and welcome to Life, Love and Gardening. Today we're going to take a look at this tote. So in this tote, I was attempting to compost some things. And so it's been sitting here for about four, maybe five days or so. And since I put something in here, it has held and has flooded. It has thunderstormed terribly. And so it plans to do that for the next several days. And so while I have time, daylight, and a clear day, I'm going to go ahead and dump this out and see what's in here. I just know that it's full of ants because I saw some crawling on the top of the cardboard. So I want to check and make sure, see what's going on in here. Okay, so we have some cardboard in there. We have some greenery in there. Okay, so this might be a little bit better view. What's going on? Let's see what's in here. Where do I want to dump it? I think I'm going to dump it right here. As you can see, I put several holes in the bottom of it. just really wet. It has some green things in there, some eggshells, some scraps. And so inside of here is still all of this cardboard cardboard that got stuck down there. Take this out. Back up. So I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do with this. I feel like I need to get some garden line or something and put down here to kind of deter um, other pests from messing around with it, like. Um, possums and raccoons and things like that. I do know we have some weasels here. Um, we have some hares that are in and out of the yard. We have a coyote. That's, you know, well, we have several coyotes, you know. And so, and we have a hole in our fence. Like one of the pickets have come out a little bit. Well, you can shift it to the side. And so anything is able to get into this yard and mess with that pile or anything else here. So I'm just gonna kinda zhuzh it up and see what's going on up under there. And then, and then I'll replace the cardboard. Let me see what it looks like. It's kinda breaking down a little bit, it's molding and things like that. I was hoping to see some worms in there. But now that I have it directly on the soil, maybe the worms will be more inclined to come in and see what's going on here. I think I wanna cover it up a little bit more with some cardboard. Keep all my soil, all my dirt here. And so, what I did was on the bottom, I did the cardboard, and then I added a little bit of soil, and I added some food scraps, and some leaves, and some grass clippings, and then more soil, and more cardboard. And so that was my lasagna. So I'm gonna get a little bit more cardboard and kind of cover it up a little bit more. Um, and I'm just gonna leave it and see how it looks uh, in the next seven days. Okay, so I have some more cardboard that I'm gonna put on here. And then I'm gonna cover it with some of these empty raised bed um, 
bags, the gardening soil bags, and then I'm gonna put the tote, or try to put the tote back over the top to kind of lock in some um, heat and some of the moisture. This does look a little bit too wet, but like I said, it has been storming like nonstop for the past couple of days. And so if I put the plastic on, maybe that will get some heat going in there. That's what I'm hoping. So I'm gonna cover it with cardboard. Top of it. Doesn't that look funny, guys? <laughs> I'm gonna put this on top of it, kind of to hold everything in place. Let's see. And see if that can maybe hold those tote lids in place. Okay, so this is what we have. It's not fancy at all. It's not fancy. I don't have my tarps. I don't know where they are. Well, actually, they're probably in storage. And so I'm just using the plastic baggies as tarps. I need to throw those bags away anyhow. So um, I didn't. And so now they're serving a purpose versus just being piled up in a garbage bag in a corner or blown all over my garden area, which most of them were because of the ice storm and thunderstorm and the high winds. So this is how it looks. I know it looks funny. Yes, it does. It looks a mess, but <laughs> we're gonna see what this does in the next seven days or so. And I will get back with you guys and we will take a look. I may go back and add some more grass clippings and some more food scraps and some more um, brown material uh, and see if maybe that can help it heat up because it is supposed to drop down into uh, the 70s this week. So I'm not sure if that's gonna be enough to keep this like really hot. 
um, but not hot enough to kill all the microorganisms that are in there kind of breaking things down. Because it was five days already and it doesn't really look like a whole lot has broken down, it lets me know that it, it hasn't been hot enough in there. And it hasn't been hot enough because it's been hail, uh, ice, rain, and wind. So I'll let you guys know how this works out right here. This hot mess compost pile. Here we go. All right. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Please like if you haven't already. Subscribe, comment, and share. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for joining.